and right now I'm playing Creatures of Sonaria. And about a week ago, they've added two new creatures. And I usually don't do videos on Creatures of, of Sonaria. But, um, but also, like, usually I don't actually have the creatures that they have for the update. But, uh, now I do. These creatures are mutation, um, like, gotcha creatures. Where you have to find a mutation token around the map. And then you get one of these tokens and then you can spin it. There are these two. Um, don't know how to pronounce their names. Zeorax, maybe? And just I, I, I don't know. I don't want to pronounce them wrong. But, um, yeah. Those are the two newest ones, I believe. By the time this video is out, it's going to be another update. And these creatures will be a week old. But I still want to check them out because I think they're really cool. Um, this is a cool creature. It is a tier 2, grow time 18 minutes. Um, health 1000, damage 70, uh, weight is two, um, 2000. It has a cool ability where it can like radiate around. It's an om it's an omnivore. It's kind of cool. This th this one's it's kind of cool. The male has little like I don't know. I don't actually don't know know what that is. Like a little spike. The female doesn't have it. But uh, let's go in. I probably won't be um like evolve like I don't know aging up the creature all the way because it takes 18 minutes and I've, I've done it multiple times but I just don't have enough time for that but as you can see uh, if you press Q you are emitting radiation nearby creatures will be like de um, debuffed but it'll just give them the radiation um I don't know like effect on them and so they all like I believe decrease energy and like health regain I believe that's what it is um, I don't know what else to say about this creature. It's a unique creature. It runs really funky. So, here, let, let, let me show you. Here, like, the legs are these, the, the legs are the wings. And so it walks around on those, and the runs is just, like, it's really goofy looking. And I kind of like it. Um, I'm going to stop emitting the radiation. Um, here's more of its stat. It has really bad night vision, only one out of three. Um... So, um, there is that. And I don't like creatures without good night vision, but that's my own opinion. Right now, I'm in a server with not a lot of people, so it's gonna be, like, no one here. And that is fun. And I do like that. But anyways, it is an omnivore. So, I'm find something to eat and show some more of the animations. Go right over here. Do says the, oh my god, I can't speak, the sitting animation. Boom, like that the laying uh, the aggro again this creature kind of looks funny it, it's like I don't know what it is it's just like a snake with but it has like wings and I, I don't know and then the cower the cower makes it go into the ground so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a good area to actually show it off a little bit better I'll go over here maybe flatter ground yeah, there's some flat ground right here. No, but just continue to go into the ground. But, uh, so there is that. And, I, I don't, it does help. I right, sorry, I was pressing random buttons. Let's do eating animation. There's some food right here. Um, can't really see it, and that's not what I wanted. There you go. This is really just like a snake, but it has like two little legs. This is a bad snake. It, it doesn't work how snakes are supposed to work. Um, but now let's go do some swimming animations. Boop. Um, oh, and I am getting hyperthermia, but uh, it has a cool swimming animation. I think this creature would be really cool as like a semi-aquatic too. It has like these glowing thing that also kind of looks like gills. I feel like this creature is kind of like, I don't know, it kind of looks like a semi-aquatic to me. As you can see, um, I, ca I cannot swim without taking a good amount of damage. But, uh, yeah, this is this creature. I really like it because you can be annoying and give radiation to creatures around you. And it's just annoying. It doesn't, like, damage them. 
But it's really annoying, and that's the whole point. You can be evil. I'm gonna check out the other creature. The other creature has, I don't know the name, but it's like a robot parrot looking one. Um, that one really has no special ability. Oh wait, and this can also go on walls too. They they, they can both do that. I kind of forgot, forgot about that. What does it say? Ah, uh, this one. It is like, it's like a robot bird. I mean, it kind of just looks like a monster bird to me, but it is a carnivore. It has some bleed and some bleed defense. Grow time is 28 minutes, so a lot more than the um, than the other one. I mean, it's not, it's not a lot, but it's still a good amount. So, uh, but no, like, special ability, no breath. Nothing actually cool. So, male has the, like, antenna. Female doesn't have it. I really do like the, the teeth on this one. It's so sharp. Pointy. Those look really cool. And like the wings are all shiny. I don't know. It just it, it looks it looks cool. I like looking at it. So uh oh all right there we go. Animations are all working. Oh and my I, I can't move. Oh there we go. I don't know what was happening right there. But this is but this is like a cool creature. It's just a little parrot. This one also has the ability where you can like latch onto walls. Like here. Go right here. You can go. See, there you go. I'm like in the wall though. I don't know if that's supposed to work like that, but. I'm kind of just standing on there. But, but this is how it looks. It, it looks like. Man. I don't know, I'm stuck. Man. I can't move. Well, this is my life now. Can I get a better look at its head a little? I am gonna reset now because I like literally cannot move. I mean I can, hope, hope. But it will not allow me to. But anyways, it's like that looks like on a wall. Um No special ability. Right now I'm pressing Q, which sucks. I feel like this creature would be cool with like a like a cool um I don't know, electric breath or radiation breath or just whatever. But anyways, back to the bird itself. Uh, sitting. Even sits like it even sits like a little bird. Uh, laying down. Uh, aggro. The aggro is actually kind of cool. Some aggro's like kind of suck, but this, this this one isn't one. And cower. And that is it for this creature. Nothing else is really cool or exciting about it. Like, I don't know. This one is, in just my opinion, on the lower scale of cool creatures. Um, another thing that they also did add, um, is they added, like, these, like, little shrines for the, the different wardens and everything. Or statues. I really don't know what they are. I do know where some of them are. But, like, one of them, that's the Easter Warden or Vibrant, or I, I don't know what it's actually called. But it is up here. And it is pretty cool looking. And let's just go right here. And it, like, it's really cool because they like updated more of this area. It it look like bigger. And then you have, you can't see it that well. You have like a little stone right there. He's holding a flower, a little gem on it. It's really cool. And I was actually live streaming when I, like, I started to explore this and find it. And I don't know if like a lot of people know this, you probably only know this if you did play during like the early access. But when you went into the game for like the first time and you chose your three creatures, you would um, like there was like a little story about it. So I wonder what they think these are like shrines, if they're trying like, if they're going to add more of the story back into it. Yeah, that was something that was really cool. Um, I didn't read the, read the story actually, I kind of skipped through it. But, um, it was cool otherwise. And this is the other warden. It's over here. You just go over here. I feel like a lot of people already know where this is. Because, like, you know, like, you watch videos of finding it. But I have not. But th this one is the, um, I forgot. It, I don't know their names. I, I only know the Gar Warden, the Boreal Warden, and then the Adore Warden. And, like, the Novus Warden. I think it's like Helen, Hel Helen Warden? I don't know. But anyways, this one's really cool. 
it's like a sand theme it has some chains on it like like they're all still very different so like i think this is sand coming out of its hand because it's not blue like water and open up stuck again oh there we go and i'm pretty sure it's meant to be sand and then like it glows a little bit too it has a little stone right there um and there's nothing else so i shall check out the third one which is the boreal warden which is obviously gonna be in the snowy tundra area or like the ice area which is you know where um it's, it's, it's a boreal warden. The whole thing is like it's Christmas theme. But it's like over there. And I didn't notice. I mean this is kind of like obvious. But they did like update the area. Like the tundra area. To be like bigger. And I do like that. Because the tundra area is like so tiny. And but they made it like a little bit bigger I feel like. Or they just added more trees. I, I don't know. But I like it. This one is my favorite. But I have to fly over there, so you're just gonna need to hear me talk for like 30 more seconds because it's like right, it's right over there, it's right behind the map, that mountain. This creature does not like to fly, even though it has wings. It goes very slow when it's gliding. Let's go up. There's, there, there's a birdie up there. Oh, I don't know. I think that's just me because I've I've been up there, and the creature that you're playing is is up there. Um, it is. Wait, maybe it's not right there. Alright, I, I, I was lying. It's not right there. It's... I think it's behind this one. I actually don't know where it is. Oh my god. Um... Oh no, see, look, it's right there. That was just a little bit off. I mean, it was pretty close. But this one's my favorite because it has, like, um... Um... Like, ice kind of, like, crystals. See, look at it. Oh, got a actually start flying again and I'm starving too this one's really cool it has like waterfalls and everything let me land waterfalls coming down the stone looks amazing it's like yeah, it's, it like glows a little bit too and you have like little crystals that like go into the hand and the water comes out like this is so cool like this is my favorite one but I'm totally like um like I'm very opinionated or like biased, I believe, because this, I, I I just like this warden already. This is, this was the first warden that they added into the game, and it is cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the first one. I actually don't know for 110 percent sure, so don't believe me. But this one is my favorite, and it is the best in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like all the updates that have happened. So far, I mean, at least until this video comes out, because I think that's going to be an update on this video. Like, on the day that this video comes out, I think. But I don't know for sure, because I don't keep up with any of the, I don't know, inf info on what's happening. I did join the Creature Scenario Discord server, so I know a little bit. And I know that there's going to be a new Robux gotcha creature. And it's like, I, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a yin and yang. Like... I think there's going to be two different variants, but I don't know for sure. And one more thing, there's like a super cool, um, cave underneath, like, the vault, underneath, yeah, it's like underneath the volcano that I didn't know about, and I don't know if anybody else knew about it. I mean, I mean, like, obviously some people did, but I didn't know about it, so, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. But anyways, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.